Hey everybody, it's Renaissance Man. I'm gonna do a quick demo today of two really cool Dofer filters for your rack. One is the A106 SEM um, filter, and then the other I'm gonna do is the A124 VCF5 WASP filter. So I have a sequence going on my Erica Sense to my Dofer Basic Oscillator. So let's have a listen. We'll do both modes and see the difference. mode. Hmm, or maybe I don't have the cable in all the way. That's interesting. So band pass mode doesn't really do anything. It did before. That's strange. Oh, you know, operator error. I'm so stupid. I should keep it audio out. That's why I had it plugged in wrong. this filter. It's based on the um, SEM uh, Dave Smith Profit filter, I think. It sounds really rich and good. Um, I like it for basses. Now we're going to look at the Wasp filter in the same oscillator. So I'm going to take the audio out here. I'm going to need a longer patch cable. And stay tuned for one minute to get myself a longer patch cable. And I, I have this set up in two cases to make it easier so I can have two sequencers and all my support modules in this case and a couple voices and I have my voice modules and modulation in this case. It just makes life a lot easier for myself when I'm doing um, travel. I don't have to carry a monster case everywhere. So audio in would be, we take the output from the square wave. Use a square wave. And then we're going to take the output. We'll first check on the WASP, the low pass settings, with the same um, oscillator settings. I'm going to use a square wave. I'm not going to change anything here so you can hear the difference. And we're going to do low pass first. So let's have a listen to it. Turn on the uh, resonance and frequency a bit. Thank you. 
use that self oscillating. I love that. Um, this can get really wild. So um, you can also turn the resonance down and make it smoother if you don't want that swooshing wild sound. So that was the uh, uh, low pass, high pass out. Now let's look at band pass out and see what it sounds like. I need a longer cable. So let's see what CB does. I love doing that. So you can modulate it, which sounds really cool if you do that. Take another one from Batumi. That sounds cool. Now you can get pretty insane on that. And then if you modulate, now if we take this and we try modulating, you'll hear the difference in how tame this um, filter is, how wild this wasp filter is compared to the, um, if you look at the difference between the um, SEM, we're gonna modulate the SEM now. We just modulated the wasp, which gets pretty crazy. So if we take some modulation from Batumi, to the um, SEM filter and see what it's like, just for fun. modulation as well on the VCA just to have fun. <laughs> So as you can see, it's really crazy. Um, you can see this is this this is my first filter in Euro Rock I got when I bought my first system. I, I got 10 a100 modules including these two and i love these modules and um yeah i think for a filter this is smoother and it's not as wild they both sound really good um this is crazier and it's based on the edp synthesizer which they don't make anymore 
so it's a wackier version it's definitely really good um also for the money i mean a hundred bucks i mean i think compared to most filters it's a deal it's really good so yeah i just wanted to do a comparison of both dofer filters um i think if uh, you want something a little more dirty and wild the wasp is the way to go if you want something smooth and tamer i think you know this is really good you know if you're going to do just a bass line or smooth melody this kind of smooths it out um but yeah so yeah this is my setup i'm using um i have a 6u case and a 7u case and a 4u pallet case so that's working out pretty good and when i travel in the future you know have all my sequencers i like having them like at my fingertips to do stuff cheers <laughs>